Let's go. Alright, I'm going to turn. Greetings, salutations, welcome to this Midday Power Surge, Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. This is your spiritual oasis on this pilgrim journey. Safe to Serve International, first time viewers, welcome one, welcome all to this Midday Power Surge. Friends, I want to say praise the Lord publicly for what he has done. Help, relief is on the way to our brothers and sisters there in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Praise the Lord. I also want to thank Safe to Serve Local, Sister Maggie, her team there in the Orlando area, as well as you, Safe to Serve International. And even those of you who have supported, those of you who have prayed for us. Praise the Lord. I'm simply going to share a few clips just to give you an update. And also have Sister Maggie at the appointed time give us some updates on where we are. Friends, this is not the end. But these are crucial steps in the process to bring aid and assistance to those who are suffering, those who are in need in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Take a look at this, friends. Packages being stored. Amen. Okay, Sister Maggie. Yes, Pastor. Uh, any any updates for us? Any updates for us? Yes. So as as you can see, um, everything was put on the on the container, and um, they had given us one hour to load. By God's grace, we did it in forty minutes, and um, they're off. They're on their way to Miami. So by next week, they will ship it out by next Wednesday. We thank God. We thank God. We praise God. And want to thank everyone on um, Midday Power Surge that responded, that saw the lies that was being told and, and called it out. It was you that opened our eyes so that we could see what was going on. So I want to say a special thank you for to those people that, that did that. God will bless you immensely. And also thank you for everyone that donated, that, that participated in making this happen. This was a joint effort, and God will bless you also for helping his children. So thank you so very much. Okay. Now, what are some of the things that we have sent there to St. Vincent and the Grenadines? All right. We sent water. We sent a pallet of rice. We sent four pallets of water. We sent uh, split peas, the yellow and the green, pinto beans, pasta, cereal, air beds, juice, um, dried fruit, mashed potatoes, crackers, blankets, first aid supplies, um, soap, body wash, shampoo, baby wipes and diapers, adult briefs, um, hand wipes, clothing, just to name a few. Mm, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So by God's grace, once the relief reaches there in St. Vincent, we can then get some updates as well. Now, any yeah. closing words, Sister Maggie? No, that's it, Pastor. I just, I, I thank God. I'm, I'm very happy today. I'm not sad today. I'm very, very happy. So I praise God just like you. I praise God and I thank him. Amen. All right, Sister Maggie, stay tuned. God bless. Take care. Thank you. All right, friends. Praise the Lord for what he has done. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Great things he has done.
Let us pray. Father in heaven, we are also thankful for your blessings today. Thankful for using us to be your hands and your feet to bring relief to those in time of need. Please, dear God, bless the next steps in this process. In the name of Jesus Christ, we rebuke Satan. We thank you for hearing us. Thank you for answering is our prayer in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 All right, friends. Here we are taking a look at the coming crisis. The coming crisis. When God's faithful people will not be able to buy or sell. And today I want to share with you that the Sunday Sabbath seeds are being sown by Popery. That will be a fruit at COP26. And that's what you're seeing here on the screen, my friends. COP26 is coming, November 2021. And the Pope's ambassador, Cardinal Turkson, is actually stating what is to come. They are pushing for Sunday rest by law. That is their main aim. Listen. This imperative for care also extends to the teaching about resting on the Sabbath day, which is for human beings also to preserve creation. Indeed, from the book of Deuteronomy, related with the book of Exodus, uh, Genesis, Sabbath has a sense of liberation, has the sense of giving respite and rest to any other system, any system that is, uh, that is oppressed and that lives in bondage. And friends, I want to be very clear today. So no one misses this great theme. The movement to combat the pandemic and climate change has always been about enforcing Sunday rest by law, Sunday worship by law. And all the other policies are simply the garnish. But the main ingredient, the crux of the matter, the main dish was simply enforce Sunday worship by law. Don't miss that, friends. Don't miss that. Please do not miss that. And notice in the article they're telling us, the church, notice, the church has a prophetic voice of influence. There it is, my friends. And they are going to keep up the pressure using the church leaders to pressure civil leaders to enforce Sunday rest by law. Don't you miss that, my friends? And we know what the end result is going to be. Persecution for God's commandment-keeping people, God's Sabbath-keeping people. Please, friends, understand where we are. Notice what this says. It has always been about enforcing Sunday worship by law. Take a look at this, friends. When the papacy and other religions, along with state leaders, celebrated World Day of Prayer for the Care of Creation, blue words, the Pope says, I am very pleased that the theme chosen by the ecumenical family is Jubilee for the Earth. And what did the Pope say next? We are invited, red words, we are invited to remember above all that creation's ultimate destiny is to enter into God's eternal Sabbath. Now, of course, the Pope is not talking about God's seventh day Sabbath, commonly called Saturday. He's talking about Sunday. Look at the red words again on the line. The ultimate destiny, the ultimate goal, the ultimate aim, the ultimate objective of Popery is to launch this world into enforcing Sunday rest by law. That's what we're seeing there. By the way, blue words, can one entity form an ecumenical family? No. I'm very pleased that the theme chosen by the ecumenical family 
of one world religion. And what is the aim, my friends? To enforce sunderest my law in the same document by Pope Francis. Listen to what the objective and where the trajectory is tending. It's right there. COP26 is the same article. Again, what is the ultimate destiny? And for Sunday worship by law. The next paragraph said, my friends, in preparation for the important climate summit, COP26 in Scotland, November 2021. There it is, friends. It says, the Pope says, I invite all nations to do what? To do what? Blue words. To set aside the Sunday Sabbath for rest and the earth can be renewed. He invites all nations to enforce Sunday rest by law. So what's the objective of the Climate Summit, COP26? The objective is to enforce Sunday rest by law. Are these points clear, friends? Yesterday, last evening rather, April 21st, I brought the news. Headline, friend, that was breaking news of what we're covering today. I'm simply enlarging and I'm amplifying. Look at this, friends. There it is again. Headline, the Pope says, watch carefully. The pandemic, says the Pope has given us a chance to develop new ways of living. What do you mean new ways of living? What is this new way of living? The Pope is going to tell us the pandemic, pestilence 1-9, the new way of living is to have all nations rest on the Sunday Sabbath. Look at what it says. A jubilee year is also a time to rest, says the Pope. Blue words, God set aside the Sabbath so that the land and its inhabitants could rest and be renewed. Look at this now. He appealed to all nations. To do what? Look in the middle. He, he's appealing to all nations in this movement for COP26 and for Sunday rest by law. Who is he specifically addressing? Red words at the bottom. The United States of America. There it is, my friends. The United States of America. To enforce Sunday rest by law. Now, someone is going to say, but pastor, he mentions God's Sabbath. Friends, do not be deceived by popery. Look at what he wrote in his encyclical, Laudato Si. On the top, he mentioned God's Sabbath, which he called the Jewish Sabbath. And then he inserted Sunday. There it is, my friend. Sunday. That's what he's talking about. Sunday, like the Jewish Sabbath. It's not Jewish. It's God's Sabbath. Not Sunday. Commonly called the first day of the week. No, it's Saturday, the seventh day of the week. That's God's Sabbath, the biblical Sabbath. Do you see it, my friend? This is what he's addressing. And that America must do this. This is fulfilling prophecy. Revelation 13, Revelation 14. By the way, I'm going to share with you now. It was all about enforcing Sunday rest by law. Look at the screen. The season of creation, 2020, is an opportunity to reflect on the meaning of Jubilee today, especially in the what, friends? In the lead up to COP26, there it is, friends. So all the way back in 2020, they were looking forward to this year, COP26. And what do they want? Blue words, churches and Christians to participate through, participate in civil action to put pressure on governments. The church needs to pressure the civil government to do what next paragraph in the same pdf look at the top pages five and six to do what to enforce sunday rest by law that's what the great objective of cop 26 is friends sunday rest by law look at it again it's right there 
It is right there, friends. Blue words on top. It's an ecumenical spirit. That's it. Look at what it says in the red words. We have not allowed the land to observe a Sabbath, and the earth is struggling to renew. Last sentence, during this season of creation, grant us courage to observe a Sabbath for our planet. That is what COP26 is all about. A Sabbath for the planet. What Sabbath? Sunday Sabbath for the planet. A counterfeit Sabbath, by the way. Look at what this says, friends. Please don't miss this. This is going on today, April 22nd. Red words. By the way, headline says Pope Francis to speak at President Biden's climate summit. It's going on right now as I speak. Red words, Pope Francis will join dozens of world leaders tomorrow, that's today, when he speaks at President Joe Biden's two-day online climate summit. The summit is also being billed as a key milestone ahead, ahead of the UN Climate Change Conference called COP26. Think about that, friends. So, of course, they'll talk about cutting global emissions. Those are the garnish. Cut back on the carbon footprint. The garnish. What is the main issue? I just showed you, my friends. Even as recently as 2020, and for Sunday rest by law. Volume 5, Testimonies for the Church. Page 452 says, the Sunday movement is now making its way in darkness. Oh, brothers and sisters, hear me very carefully. But Pope Francis is no longer speaking in secret. He and his, un his envoy, Cardinal uh, Turkson, is actually speaking publicly, not parabolically anymore. No, friends, they're speaking clearly. They're calling for a Sabbath for the planet. Sunday rest by law. Churches now must influence government leaders at COP26 to enforce those policies laid out in Laudato Si. By the way, Earth Day, look at this right here. It says Earth Day, which is celebrated on April 22nd is the most widely observed secular holiday across the globe. I wonder why. The most secular holiday observed globally? I wonder why. Because the Sunday movement is going to enforce and lead to the enforcement of Sunday rest by law. It's a global law, a global movement. It begins where? In the United States of America. By the way, Earth Day is pagan. So why on earth are professed Seventh-day Adventist Christians participating in Earth Day celebration and holding Earth Day programs? When Earth Day is pagan. Look at the screen, friends. April 22nd, that's today. There it is. Earth Day. The largest secular observed day globally. There it is, my friends. A blue words. A day of action to bring about what? Human behavior changes and to provoke policy changes. Paganism is a nature religion. Paganism is a nature religion or earth-centered spirituality. Not surprisingly then, Earth Day is a holy day for many pagans. Earth Day is a day of spiritualism, paganism. It's right there, friends. Earth Day. Paganism. And what is the chief god for nature worshippers? Pagans. The S-U-N. They worship, revere the sun. From which Constantine gave the world Sunday worship by law. There it is, friends. 
Can you see where Earth Day is tending? A season for creation is tending. Sunday worship by law. Laudato Si, Pope Francis, COP26, Sunday worship by law. So here's my question again. Why are professed Seventh-day Adventists celebrating and promoting Earth Day? Why, my friends? Are they a part of a pagan movement? Have they changed? There it is, friends. Countdown to Earth Day Summit. There it is. General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, North American Division, Seventh-day Adventist Church in Canada. There it is, friends. What's happening among us? Earth Day. Pagan, my friends. It's pagan. Pagan and still pagan. And those who have step by step yielded to worldly demands and conformed to worldly customs will receive the mark of the beast. Volume 5, page 81. There it is, friends. Earth Day. That's it. Earth Day. SDA's Great Controversy. Page 587 says, The leaders of the Sunday movement may advocate reforms which the people need. Principles which are in harmony with the Bible. Yet while there is with these a requirement which is contrary to God's law, God's servants cannot unite with them. Nothing can justify them in setting aside the commandments of God for the precepts of men. Do you remember the Vatican's envoy, ambassador, Peter Turkson? He says... Pope Francis told him and the rest to prepare the future, not prepare for the future. How are they going to prepare the future? By changing the policy of nations, beginning in America, using crises, climate change, pandemic, yes, they are preparing the future. They are sowing the Sunday Sabbath seeds that will be a fruit, noxious fruit. Yes, Sunday rest by law, by the way, is the same Cardinal Turkson who said, watch carefully, that 2008, in that year, they missed the opportunity to reform the financial global system. And of course, the mark of the beast is linked to no buy, no sell. Revelation 13, 15 through 17. That's it right, that's it right there, friends. A crisis. And friends, I want to share with you, the counterfeit is here. The counterfeit Sunday movement is here. That means... The true loud cry movement, preaching the Sabbath more fully, is just around the corner. The counterfeit always precedes the genuine. How do we know that? In 1 Kings chapter 18, that showdown, no dew, no rain, famine, drought in the land. What did Elijah say to Ahab? Jezebel, Jezebel's prophets, he said, we will have two altars, one for you, and I am going to re-erect, re-establish the broken down altar of God. And we are going to pray to our God. And the God that answers by fire, he is God. That's true worship. And Elijah told the prophets of Baal, Baal, Nature worship, Baal, sun worship, Baal, Sunday worship, 2 Kings 23, 5. You go first. And Baal's prophets were dancing and praying to Baal. Oh, Baal, hear us. Cutting themselves, leaping and jumping. They went first, the counterfeit false worship. And nothing happened. God kept them at bay. Hindered them from bringing fire. The counterfeit fire, counterfeit spirit, counterfeit revival. 
Then came Elijah, and we know what happened thereafter, 1 Kings 18. My point here is, the counterfeit precedes the genuine. I'm going to share with you now, what I just covered is the counterfeit Sunday revival. Look at the screen, my friends. Great controversy. Page 464 confirms the enemy of souls desires to hinder God's true work. And before the time for such a true movement shall come, Satan will endeavor to prevent the true movement by introducing a counterfeit. Introducing a counterfeit. My friends, here it is. Do you not realize I covered this a few moments ago? Look at the blue words the Pope said. God set aside the Sabbath so that the land and its inhabitants could rest and be renewed. Could do what? Rest and be renewed. Of course, all nations must enforce a Sunday Sabbath so, so the people can rest. The land can rest and be renewed. Rest and be renewed. Look at that phrase. Look at this, friends. Again, another article from Pope Francis. Blue words. God set aside the Sabbath that the land and the people could rest and be renewed. Last sentence. It must begin in America. Rest and be renewed. Look at this statement, friends. From Laudato Si. Look at the blue words in the middle. Rest opens our eyes to what? The larger picture and gives us renewed. Rest and renewed. Red words, the day of rest. Rest and renewed. My friends, three manuscript releases. Page 347 says, red words, the land needed a rest in order to renew the forces necessary for growth. That's in the Bible. That's in the Bible. That's Bible, my friends. Are the points clear? Beloved, turn with me to Exodus chapter 23. The Bible says in verse number 12, do you find rest and renew? Yes. Verse number 12, the Israelites, even the strangers, were to rest on God's seventh-day Sabbath. And the Bible says they would be refreshed. Refreshed is synonymous to being renewed. That's what the Bible teaches. I'll give you one more scripture. Exodus chapter 31, verse 15, verse 17. The Bible mentions rest and refreshed, rest and renewed. God's true seventh-day Sabbath, rest and renewed, rest and being refreshed. That's the genuine. Is the counterfeit here, my friends? Is the counterfeit here, rest and renewed? And what summit are they marching towards? COP 26. November 2021 is the counterfeit Sunday Sabbath rest and renewed here. Yes. There it is again. And what is the biblical title for Popery? Even Pope Francis, Antichrist. Anti means to be against. The regular definition, textbook, anti. Against, anti. Yes, that's it. To counter, anti, to war against. You get the point. It's here. I'll give you one more scripture. Isaiah 28, verse number 12. What does the Bible say, my friends? He will give us rest and we can be refreshed. And my friends, that is in the context of the rain. The former and the latter rain. Let's make sure everyone gets this. Is the Pope, is, is the papacy, is Popery, is the Pope now pushing a counterfeit day of rest and renewal? 
rest and refreshing. Yes. Hold on. Again. So what is coming soon? The genuine day of rest and renewal. The Sabbath must be preached more fully. Next point. Is Pope Francis promoting then the counterfeit spirit? The counterfeit renewal? The counterfeit rest? Why? Because the Spirit of God brings rest. The Spirit of God brings revival and refreshing. That's the theme we have been covering. That means the genuine is about to take place. What is that genuine, my friends? It's the genuine Holy Spirit, revival, reformation, conversion, sealing, the former reign and the latter reign, rest and renewal. The counterfeit is here. Am I saying the genuine is not here? That's not what I'm saying. But the genuine coming with full power, laddering power, loud cry power, it's about to come to fruition. That's my point. Why? The counterfeit is here. Do you see how necessary the theme we have been covering is right now, friends? Former and laddering theme, yes. And again, I'm going to encourage you to go back and take a look at Midday Power Surge on yesterday. Click on that video. Type in the words if you can find it on our YouTube page. Class in session. Class in session. That's it. Look at the description or pinned comment. You'll see a minute marker. You can bypass the current events. Click that minute marker and you will begin the Bible study portion. It's time to receive the genuine, former, and laddering. It's time. The counterfeit is here. By the way, let me share with you this statement here, friends. Look at this. When the genuine comes in full force, what will take place? Here it is, friends. Medical ministry. Page 12, look at the red words on the line. The Holy Spirit in latter in power. Holy Spirit, it will renew. That's the word. It will renew every organ of the body that God's servants may work acceptably and successfully. Praise God. Praise God, my friends. The genuine in full power is about to be realized. Who wants to reign? Who wants to reign, my friends? From top, sin brings physical and spiritual disease and weakness. Christ has made it possible for us to free ourselves from this curse. The Lord promises by the medium of truth to renovate the soul. The Holy Spirit that's it, my friends, will make all who are willing to be educated, able to communicate the truth with power. It will renew. That's my theme today. Every organ of the body that God's servants may work acceptably and successfully. Let's finish this. Vitality increases under the influence of the Spirit's action. What is the work of preparation then? Blue words, last sentence. Let us then, by this power, lift ourselves into a higher, holier atmosphere that we may do well our appointed work. Rest and renewal. Praise God, complete healing is coming, friends. It's on its way. Praise God. Do you know what text comes to my mind with rest and renewal? Psalm 51. It says, I saw how this grace could be obtained. Go to your closet and there alone plead with God. What must we pray? Pray the scriptures. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew. That's the genuine renewal. 
and renew a right spirit within me. Yes, friends, wrestle with God in prayer. Don't leave your closet until you feel strong in God. Then watch. And just as long as you watch and pray, you can keep these evil besetments under and the grace of God can and will appear in you. This is the genuine experience. And that's why I spend so much time showing you, friends, from Scripture, Spirit of Prophecy, how practically you can become converted and how you can practically retain conversion, retain justification. You can remain sanctified so God can glorify you. And then as you do aggressive, effective evangelism, what you have, what you are experiencing, it you can share with others. Send in your prayer requests. Let's spend a few moments in prayer. Father in heaven, we're thankful for this midday power surge. We're thankful that conversion is possible through Jesus Christ. We're thankful you have given to us the practical steps. May we go back over the lessons in this series, former rain, latter rain, in the playlist on this platform. May we feast on your words, live by your grace these truths, and may we impart them to others. Father, please keep us faithful. The signs all around us show us the counterfeit Sunday Sabbath is here. The counterfeit false revival, it's counterfeit, it's false. The counterfeit revival is here. The counterfeit spirit is here. That means the full power of the genuine revival is almost here. May we receive the rain. May we receive rain. And Father, please, bless your children, our brothers and sisters in St. Vincent, as the relief is on its way. Praise the Lord. Be with Save to Serve Local, Sister Maggie and her team. Be with Save to Serve International, those on this platform who have supported even with their prayers. Keep us faithful, we pray, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.